Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Yari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys my top 10 list of the best keyboards that you can get for your iPhone in 2020. Now keyboards on the iPhone are really underrated. That's what I believe. You can get some really amazing keyboards from the App Store. They will help you a lot and make your life much, much easier while using your iPhone daily. So here's a list of the top 10 keyboards that you can get for your iPhone in 2020. All right, starting off with Fastboard. Now this one is really, really cool. It allows you to easily enter any email, any like phone number or username or anything that you use daily on your iPhone and you don't want to type it every time, like three or four times a day, even more sometimes. That's really, really annoying. So what you have to do, you install Fastboard, you open the app and then all you have to do is just tap this little plus button right there and enter like any phrase that you want to use and then you can go ahead and just quickly enter them directly from the keyboard. So once you have done that, just enter any phrase here, any like email, anything you want. And now let me show you how to add them. So all you have to do to enter maybe your email or your phone number or anything you want, you just tap the little globe and switch from the normal, the default keyboard of your iPhone to fast board. Once you have done that, then you will see all your phrases right here. We'll see a list of all the phrases that you have. So what if I want to enter my email quickly here? Just tap it right there on the keyboard. And it's as easy as that. You can add anything you want. So if I can tap return right there, you can see you can still use the normal keyboard here. Just tap those little arrows and it will switch from the phrases to a normal keyboard. This is all part of fast board. So if I just tap right there, you can see I can also add that number. It's easy as that. You can add any phrase, anything you need really, really quickly with fast board. The next one is actually a very, very cool keyboard app but it's actually not a keyboard. It is a calculator integrated within the keyboard. It is called plus key. Now I did show this on a previous video, but I thought I put it on this one as well because it is really, really awesome and very useful as well. So what it actually does, it puts a full working calculator on your keyboard. So you can see right here, we have a few emojis and we have all the numbers and of course, everything you need right here. Now you wanna calculate something really quickly. You just go to this keyboard. You can go ahead and calculate anything you want right here. You can see everything is working really, really smoothly. Now, if you need that result on your text or anything that you're writing, you just tap right there and it will automatically paste it on any text that you're creating. Next up is a keyboard called Hyper Key. Now this one is really interesting. You can see right there at the top, you will have an emoji, then you have GIF, then you will have here all kinds of stuff, like from GIFs to news, to YouTube, maybe your pictures, translation, anything you want right here within one keyboard. So just like that, you can go to your emojis. Of course, you will have normal keyboard right here. So I can go to GIF here, I can browse through different GIFs and of course add them just by tapping on them. They will be copied and then just paste them anywhere you want. Or you can go ahead and even search there. You can switch between different categories. You will have like Google News here. You can go ahead and read different news. You have YouTube, you have your pictures, or you can even go ahead and translate something. So just tap right there. If you want to translate, just tap on the search bar. So let's say hello and tap translate. And as you can see, just like that, it will translate it and I can tap right there to paste it. So as easy as that, you can use this keyboard to pretty much do anything like search on YouTube, search for GIFs, emojis, read news, even translate anything you want. The next keyboard is called fonts. You probably have seen a ton of fonts keyboards on the app store. Most of them have a few fonts that are free and then all the other ones, the cool ones usually, are the paid ones. But this one has all the fonts for free and it has a ton of them. So this is the keyboard right here. At the start, you will have a button to share the app, of course. And if you tap on art, you will see like different art here that you can use maybe on your social media, on a comment or anywhere you want. You can see that's really, really cool. So you will find different cool stuff right here. Then you have all the different fonts. So you can see you have also GIFs right there and you will have stickers. 
and you have other fonts right here. So if you want to actually use one of the fonts, it's very easy. You just tap on the font. You can see right here. It will also show you the font on the keys of the keyboard, and then you can simply start typing with that font. And once you're done, you tap the X button and you go back to all the fonts. If you scroll all the way to the end, then you will see a few keyboards with different symbols that you can use as well like from this keyboard right here you can use all these diff different kind of symbols and you can of course use them on your social media or anywhere you want as easy as that directly from this keyboard called fonts keyboard next up is a keyboard called phrase keyboard now this one is really really interesting it offers like different categories of stuff that you can add to this keyboard from like secure things maybe right there you can secure keep one of your passcodes that you want to enter like quickly anywhere on your iphone but you don't want to have to type it every time and you keep it right there secured with a passcode then you have your personal stuff right here maybe your friends here have like different stuff that you reply to your friends you have here work family of course numbers letters and media as well so if you want to add like different pictures that you want to use quickly you can do that with this keyboard now once you're on this keyboard you can see right here you can switch between different categories so you will have your media here so if i just tap right there it will copy that image and i can paste it right here or if i just want to go ahead and switch here it will go to my personal stuff like maybe my email if i tap right there it will enter my email of course you will have to configure all that from the app so you come to the app and you go for example to personal and you go to email and here enter your email and then from the keyboard once you tap right there you will see that it will enter your email or your home address or anything else then you have your personal stuff you have your friends here like different stuff that you reply quickly to your friends and all that then if you tap on the secure it will show you here the pin so you enter the pin and you will have the things here that you have entered that are things that of course you want to keep secure now all of these stuff have to be configured from the app so when you go to the app you enter your phone numbers you enter the stuff that you maybe reply to your friends frequently any website that you use frequently anything you will have to configure them directly from the app the next keyboard is called clips keyboard now this one is very very interesting and very useful at the same time so anything that you copy to your clipboard you can save on the app of clips keyboard so you can see right here once you go to this keyboard it shows you right here with this line what you have currently copied on the clipboard if you tap the plus button then this will be saved on an on the app it will be saved just like a note which of course you can go ahead and copy later now if you just scroll here you will see everything that you have saved so if you save like a ton of stuff that you copy on your clipboard so let's say you copy an email you come here to the clipboard you save it then you need it later all you have to do is just go back to the keyboard tap on it and that will be copied on your clipboard and you can paste it as easy as that anywhere you want so very very useful clips keyboard very useful and a must-have keyboard for every iphone user next up is lazy board this is also one of my favorites it allows to quickly enter anything like a text a phrase a template a media that you need quickly directly from the keyboard so once you open the app you will see here different folders with different categories of stuff that you use frequently like for example email templates which you see right here then you have your clipboard stuff that you paste from your clipboard right here then you have your media and then you will have different phrases here as well now you want to add a new phrase or a new folder just have the plus button you can go ahead and add them right here and of course choose the color that you want it to be displayed on the keyboard and enter the phrase right there now once you go to this keyboard you will have here all the different folders you can choose from so you will have the media you will have the uncategorized ones then you will have your clipboard and of course your email templates as well so you can see right here if i just tap on one of these it will enter the text so when you enter them through the app you will of course have the option to add the phrase and then the option to have like the shortcut that will be displayed on the keyboard so you can see right here and you will have all the stuff like from the clipboard you want to use media just tap on it it will copy it and you can paste it as easy as that next up is a keyboard called chroma keyboard this actually looks 
really really dope you can see how beautiful this keyboard looks now right here we'll have basically a simple keyboard but these colors right here they just look stunning they will have the numbers here you will have of course the emojis and then you will have here a button that will take you to the settings of the keyboard now the keyboard effects can be changed so you will have the wave the spectrum and the static right here so you enable one of them of course the other one will be disabled so you can see now it's just switching colors color after color really really cool so you just tap right there it takes you directly to the app where you can customize this keyboard and it just looks really really amazing you can see how beautiful that is just it reminds me of a like gaming keyboard that you might have it just looks really really cool next up is a keyboard called grammarly this one is very very useful it will help you not make grammar mistakes so when you're typing something it will automatically show you the option right there to correct it so let's just type a word here so let's just type international there nah and you can see right there i have typed that s which is it's not supposed to be there you can see right there it will show me the correction so if i tap on it it will automatically correct the word also if you have a text right there you can of course tap here and it will revision the mode basically will check all the text that you have and will show you if you have any like grammar mistakes on the text that you have created as easy as that basically with just one click it will scan all your text that's very very useful if you're typing something that's really really important and you don't want to have any grammar mistakes then this is the app for you and last but not least is Wave Keyboard. Now this is really, really interesting. It will add an animated keyboard to your iPhone. So you will have a keyboard that actually has an animated background. So you can see everything here works just fine. You will have that animated background, which of course is really, really cool. Now these are like not things that I really like. I don't like this kind of stuff, but maybe some of you guys will enjoy having this background on the keyboard and you will of course enjoy this app now if you go to the app you will have here all the keyboards that you can download to your device now some of them are paid some of them are free if you want to download one of them is very very easy all you have to do is just tap on it it will show you like a preview of it and tap the download button right here it will actually download that keyboard to your device you will have to download these themes for your keyboard and then just tap apply and it will show you right here how that keyboard will look on your device and you're good to go you can go ahead and use these cool keyboards that look really really different on the keyboard of your iphone and also if you tap on that little fun button right there you can also change to different fonts within this keyboard so that is it for this video guys these are my top 10 best iphone keyboard apps that you can get for your iphone in 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you will enjoy and install any of these keyboards most of them are very very useful so again thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more don't forget to leave a like and i will see you on the next one